Hi, wonderful people. It's Mark here from Not Defining. I hope you're doing really well. Today, I'm going to be talking about dating as LGBT people and how we can succeed in the dating world. Now, this is something that is really, really difficult for us because the first thing I'll say is the dating scene really wasn't built for us, right? So how do we navigate dating and find that special person or people? Well, the first thing is to accept that the common dating structures are not going to fit us, okay? So a lot of us will try to fit in to what is expected in terms of dating and we find that we're not getting our needs met or we're not enjoying it or it's not going well, okay? What I would advise you to do is to think about flipping that around, okay? How can you create a dating scene or a way of dating that fits with who you are, okay? And the best way to do that is to start to deeply connect with what you want, okay? Pass everything, whether you're on a date, whether you're in a relationship, whether you're on an app, pass everything through the filter of, am I enjoying this? Does this feel good to me? Does this feel comfortable to me? Am I having fun? Yeah. And if you're not, even if everybody else in the world is doing it, don't do it. Yeah. Or if there's something that you'd really, really like, that's really, really fun. Just try to have some courage to suggest it, you know, and you will get rejection. People will think you're weird. People will not be into it. But just have that knowledge that you are a proud LGBTQ plus person. You do not fit the mold. And you know what? If it feels good to you, then that is valid. Okay. And by the way, if you'd like tips and advice on dating, if you'd like to book a one-to-one -one coaching session with me, then you can do that. Check the link in the description or join our Patreon community, patreon.com forward slash not defining. So the next way that we can kind of really get to know what we want and then go out and find it is to think about not what partner I want, but think about how you would like to feel. Okay. So often we think, oh, well, I want to meet a man who is tall or a woman who is blonde and they need to have the same hobbies as me. That's fine. But ask yourself the question, how would I like to feel? Imagine that you had your perfect partner. Okay. And imagine how you would like to feel like, would you like to feel calm? Would you like to feel safe? Would you like to feel relaxed? Would you like to feel invigorated? Would you like to feel sexy? Whatever that is, really, really pay attention to those feelings because those are your needs. Okay. Those are your needs. Now, what do we do when we know our needs? Well, we start to communicate them. Okay. When we align with what our needs are and we allow ourselves to actually validate them and to say, I deserve this. Once you start living in that energy, oh my goodness, people are going to come into your life who are going to align and fit with that. Okay. So rather than you trying to fit and mold yourself into a structure or into what other people want, or what you think other people want, you are actually having a whole sense of yourself and your needs. And you are filtering out anyone who doesn't fit with you. And you will filter out the people who are going to fit with who you are and what you need. So really, really nice people are going to come into your life. It's often said that people will treat you the way that you treat yourself. And let me tell you, that is the truest thing I think I've ever heard. Once you start validating your needs, other people will do the same. So when we think about those needs, what I would suggest that you do is think about how many things in your life you do to get those needs met. Okay. Other than dating, right? So let's say uh, you would like to feel calm, safe, secure, and have fun with a partner. Yeah. Those are your needs. Look at your life. Are you getting that? 
Like, are you doing things in your life to make you feel that? Or are you denying and rejecting those needs? Think about it. Are there things in your life that you could do that would make you feel that? Okay, what is it that makes you feel that? Can you think of a time when you felt those things? Are you focusing on those things in your life? Are you building those things into your life so that you are actually coming into that energy that you want to feel so that you can exude it so that the right people are going to come into it right this is really really effective okay and it's fun because it basically means we get to do more of what we love okay so have a think about that and try to do more things in your life or make more time in your life for those things which align to your needs okay the way that the human brain works is that what we focus on grows. Okay, so if we're focusing on negativity or we're focusing on being lonely, then it's most likely to grow. Okay, and it doesn't matter even if you get a relationship, okay, because you'll still feel those things. Okay, what we need to do is get into the energy of feeling those things first, putting as much of it in our life as possible, really, really getting into that alignment with those wonderful feelings, you're gonna to start to feel fantastic and you won't even need to go out dating, let me tell you, because you will exude so much authentic, amazing, positive, loving energy when you love yourself, when you're really giving yourself those needs, another person is going to see that and respond to that and do you know what, there is nothing more attractive than somebody who is really living in alignment with who they are. Self-confidence, self-love. You will shine, okay? You won't need validation from anybody else. You won't be needy, you won't be horrid, you won't be stressful, you won't be, you will, it will be impossible to get people away from you. Trust me. So once you've got that great sense of power and self-confidence and self-love in your own self you know who you are you don't have to fit in with anybody else the next thing is i'll give you some practical tips just before i do if you're new here please click the subscribe button because we've got loads more videos coming out and it really really helps us so here are the practical tips right as lgbt people apps can be a nightmare okay but there is a great one called Field, F-E-E-L-D. Check it out. It's available in quite a few countries. Field is basically for alternative relationships. So there are pansexual people on there. There are non-binary people on there. There are LGBTQ plus people of all different varieties. There are also polyamorous couples, open relationships, uh, you know, all kinds of ethnically non-monogamous or it's just a great, great, great range. So the field app is fantastic. The next thing I would suggest is the website Meetup. Meetup is really, really good because it's got a lot of like LGBTQ plus groups. So it's not specifically for dating, but see if you go and actually connect with the group that you belong to, then you can meet other people and you can form friendships and maybe even love. And the last thing I want to say to you is go and do something nice for yourself today. If you want to bring love into your life, then you can bring love into your life yourself. Get to love yourself and do something nice for yourself today, no matter how small. And the more you do that, your brain will start to be trained to bring in love into your life. And trust me, that person is right around the corner. So I hope that you've enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about this. Let me know if you've tried this in the comments. I would love to hear from you. And if you have any more questions about dating, let me know. I'll post some more information as well. Um, good luck. I love you so much. If you want to know more about uh, relationships and other things like that, then check out this playlist. And I'm gonna recommend this video. Check it out because Hopefully that will be helpful for you too. So have a great day and bye for now.